How women make men lose their job in a divorce. When tensions and arguments are running high, women want to make men hurt. It's their mission to make men hit rock bottom. And that includes a man losing his job. So, how do women pull this off? Okay, women are pretty damn good at crying on demand. They can spontaneously cry at any given moment. And men just don't quite understand this until it's too late. So here we go. There will be an instance where the husband and the wife are both at home without the kids. The marriage is on life support. It's nothing but arguments at this stage. The divorce papers have been written, but they're not official yet. This all usually happens on a weekend night, like a Saturday night. At least one person has probably been drinking a little, if not both parties. Emotions and anger can run high at times like these. An innocent little argument can turn huge in an instant, until somebody's drunk and crying. The fight escalates even more, and Miss Wife starts throwing things and throwing punches. Oh shoot, what's going on here? Mr. Blue Pill's gotta keep his cool while his wife goes batshit crazy. Yelling and shouting matches start to happen. It gets really intense. It's so loud the neighbors could even hear it. The two are in each other's face, screaming their drunk asses off. Little did Mr. Blue Pill know that somebody in the neighborhood called the police. That's right, it could have even been the missus when she was quote unquote using the bathroom. And within a few minutes, oh god, guess who shows up to the door? Two male cops. Perfect. Wait a minute, what's happening now? She's starting to cry all of a sudden. He was hitting me, she screams out. And Mr. Blue Pill tries to tell the cops it was actually her that was throwing the punches, not him. The two cops think his story is a bunch of bullshit. Besides, women couldn't ever be violent, right? They smell the booze on his breath and assume that he was the violent one, and they put him under arrest. And it's off to jail for the next 14 days. And the charges? One count of being drunk in public, one count of assault and battery, and one count of domestic violence. So he sits in jail for a solid two weeks, and because he hasn't showed up to work, he's automatically fired from his job. During this time in jail, his wife makes the divorce official. His home has been fully taken over by her, and his ass is kicked out of his own home. So he's homeless, jobless, and familyless. Son of a bitch!